Look at all the Christmas cheer. Welcome back, guys. Uh, welcome back to my channel. It has been a hot minute since I filmed. It's already December, and I'm just like, what the heck? I don't know if y'all can relate, but like December literally has slapped me in the face. Like, how is it already December? Where did 2019 go? Like, where did this whole decade go, honestly? Anyways, I'm so, so excited um, because today I wanted to sit down and film a kind of like a review, but also just like film a look with this little beauty. This is the ColourPop collaboration with Disney. Um, it's Frozen 2. This is the Elsa collection. They also have an Anna box as well. Um, but this color story just spoke more to me. So this is the collection. So when I bought it, it's in this really, really adorable box. And it has a little tie, and you untie it, but I already did that. And you open it, and here you have all the products. Uh, one's missing because it's in my purse right now. But you have the lip gloss, the palette. There is an, like an eye glitter, or just like a glitter, like a, um, yeah, a glitter. And there's also a cream lipstick that, like I said, is in my purse, but I'll get it to show y'all. Okay, so I guess I'll just show y'all everything first. So the price point of this box was $38. In my opinion, $38 for an eyeshadow palette, a gloss, like a glitter that's a really good size. Like I said, I have used this once so far and love it. And there's a lot of product in here. Like, I don't know if I'll ever use all of this. But I feel like this would be a really great product for somebody that like goes to festivals or like parties um, or if you just like fun eye looks like myself. So the next product is the lip gloss, which I have not used in, used in. what? I have not used this one yet. Um, I will swatch it for y'all though. This is like a clear lip gloss with glitter reflex in it. Here she is. And I just love that it's on theme with Christmas. Like, and y'all are gonna be mad, but I have not even seen Frozen 2 yet. I've seen the first one and I love it. I am gonna go see it. I'm just waiting for the right time. This is called Mythic Journey. I'm so blind. <laughs> um, but this is really pretty. I don't know how much the price is of this, but I can definitely put it on the screen for you guys because I'll, I'll figure it out and put it up. Okay, so the next product is my favorite out of the whole collection. This is the palette. Yeah, it's just called the Elsa Pressed Powder Palette. So here she is. It has a little picture of Elsa in a really cute art style. I like that a lot. Uh, the names of the shades are on the back, which is good. Uh, and they're also actually on the pans. I just think the color story of this is really beautiful. Um, they, like I said, they have an Anna palette as well, which is more of like a warm tone fall kind of vibe. And this one to me is more like winter time, like Christmas. So this is why I was gravitating towards this a little more. So this is the lipstick right here. The packaging is uh, kind of the same as the others with the chrome blue and like the, the snowflake design. It's actually like pretty heavy, definitely feels luxurious to me like the weight is like good the packaging does not feel cheap in my hand like it feels like like metal it's called little snow which is a really cute name for the shade it is a cream lipstick it's 0.12 ounces and the net weight is 3.5 grams if y'all want to know that so i have used this once this is the color it's like a really beautiful winter berry color that's how i would describe it this is definitely a shade I will be reaching for because it's just so beautiful and I can swatch that for you as well. So this is literally just from like two little swipes. It's like a like a dark mauvey berry color. That's how I would describe it. I'm gonna do my base makeup and then be back. Alright, I'm back. And this is my base makeup all finished. So I got my nose snatch. I got a jawline now. So yeah, we're working, we're cooking. We're cooking in here. So I'm gonna go ahead and start my eye look today. 
So the first eye look that I did with this is what I'm gonna be doing today. I'm gonna try to recreate it because I loved it. It is definitely a glam look. I won't be doing a natural look today. So the first shade that I'm gonna dip into as kind of like a transition shade and just like the base shade on my eyelid is called Fire. It is the shade in the top middle right here. Also, I'm gonna tell y'all this uh, palette has uh, three matte shades. This one, the blue, and then this dark cranberry. It has one, two, four shimmers. Uh, those are in the corners and right here. And, oh wait, and this one, sorry. And then it has one like loose glitter shade. Uh, I kind of swatched it. I've never used one of these that are in a palette before. Um, but yeah, when I swatched it, it had a lot of fallout. So I would recommend if you use this, it's called Flurry. It's this beautiful white shade in the middle to use a glitter adhesive like on your eyelid. Otherwise, it's going to get everywhere. Um, and maybe if you use this, also do your eye look before you do your base makeup. Just a heads up. So I'm, I'm not going to be using that one today. Anyways, I'm going to start dipping into the shade Fire. Like I said, it's this beautiful terracotta nude right here. And I'm going to just place that all over the lid just to get... I usually start like on the outer corner. And then I just do it in circle motions work it up and then I'm gonna work it into the inner corner as well. So I got the fire shade blended out. I buffed it out um, a little further than the furthest part of my eye, just like out here a little. And I went ahead and did both eyes. Um, I brought it into the inner corner but I left like a little space like right here on the lid because I'm gonna be cutting the crease so I'm not gonna put shadow there all right so the next step that I'm going to be doing uh, I'm gonna be taking the shade called water maybe almost like a periwinkle maybe that's not right at all there's probably some of you being like that's not periwinkle but that's just what I'm gonna call it so I'm gonna take this blue shade okay so I'm gonna take maybe I'm gonna do a smaller brush first and then buff it out so I'm going to take a Morphe M506. This is like one of my go-to brushes. It looks like this, like a little fan brush. And I'm going to take this shade water. And I'm going to be putting it just slightly above and like onto this fire shade that I already have. So hold on, before I do that, I'm just going to take this fire shade really quickly with the original brush I was using. This is from the Jaclyn Hill Morphe Collection collaboration. Sorry, uh, the JH33. This is like my go-to. Uh, I'm going to take the fire shade and just bring it down a little. And it's going to look weird, but it'll make sense in the end. Because I'm going to be using concealer to just sharpen her up. Alright, awesome. So now I'm actually going to be dipping into the water shade. All right. Oh, also these palettes by themselves, if you want to know, retail for $15 each, which I think is a really fair price point because the quality of these shadows is just really good. And yeah, that's what I have to say about that. This is going to look kind of weird at first, but what I've learned with makeup is that you have to trust the process yeah so i'm just taking this blue shade and literally just putting it a little higher than the fire shade um so yeah i'm just kind of layering it bringing it into the inner corner and doing the trusty rusty swirling motions that i always use all right i'm going to do the same thing and just bring it down a little further out here because I'm going to be using that concealer in a little bit. All right, so I think I have this blended out how I like. I'm even going to go back with the fire shade and just blend it and buff the lower line a little more um, because I lost a little bit of the pigment of fire. So I'm just going to do that really quick. So I'm going to go ahead and do the same step on the other eye. 
and I'll be right back to save y'all some time. All right, I'm gonna take the same brush. I haven't dipped back into fire, so I'm just gonna use whatever is left on the brush to just go back in to each eye and just buff it out a little more. Okay, so the last matte shade I'm gonna be using is this dark cranberry shade, and it is called Spindrift. I think I'm reading that right. Spindrift, correct me if I'm wrong. It's this dark shade right here. And I'm gonna be taking this same brush that I used for the blue to get right in the outer corner uh, to deepen it up. This shade I've used before in my past two eye looks that I've done with this palette. A little goes a long way with this shade, so heads up. So I'm just gonna lightly tap and it covers the brush. Y'all can't see it because the shade is dark and it looks like the bristles, but it coats the brush and I barely tapped into it. A little excess. And I'm gonna get right into it. And I'm gonna deepen up this outer corner of my eye. This is such a pretty color. Ooh, it's so pretty. Okay, so I'm gonna do the same technique. Um, just bring it into the inner corner a little bit. Y'all, I barely tapped into this and it, there's just so much payoff and I'm just so proud of ColourPop. They really did this. They did it. All right, so here is where we're at with this. Trust the process, please. It still looks a little weird, but never doubt what cutting a crease can do for an eye look. Like it can take it places, honey. It can take it places. So I'm gonna do the same thing to the other eye really quickly. All right, so here's where the eye look is at. I have brought down the dark purple shade uh, along with the other ones down here that I'm gonna be sharpening up a little bit later. I've buffed it out and we have this beautiful like purple to dark blue moment, like a little gradient. And I think the next step is the concealer. So I'm gonna do that now. I use, I actually use the ColourPop no filter concealer highly 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 recommend this is i'm gonna go ahead and take my concealer and i'm going to sharpen this look out and then after that we're gonna cut the crease so a little little tip whenever you're doing this you can follow the angle of your lower lash line if you need help finding like an angle to go at that's just a good tip so just follow like the angle Follow the angle. Okay, I'm gonna blend this out. Alright, so if you can see the difference, that sharp line compared to over here where it's a hot mess, and then you just have that beautiful sharp angle. Okay, so I don't know if you can tell, but that just by cutting the line with the concealer, like it just amped up this look so much and made it look like I know what I'm doing. Next, I'm gonna take just a little flat brush. This is the Jaclyn Hill Morphe Collaboration JH42. I use this brush for cutting the crease in a minute, but I also use it, it's just a very small flat precision brush. And I'm gonna be using a white shade from the Jeffree Star Jawbreaker palette really quick just to put underneath that line to amp it up a little more add a little more contrast Not only to set the concealer, but like I said just to give it a little sharper of a contrast All right so I'm just gonna do a half cut crease moment. So what I do, I just go straight in with the concealer wand. 
I put a little dot right there and uh, it's a technique I'm sure we all you all know about but I just like look up real quick and it just gives me the guideline for where I need to go so my tip for this would just to take your time would be to take your time I can't speak All right, so now that I have the shape that I want with the concealer, I'm just gonna take a beauty blender, the tip of it. You can tell I've already used it for this kind of look because it has purple on it. But I'm just gonna pat it on to set it. Okay, perfect. And I'm gonna do the same thing to the other eye really quickly. Alrighty. I think I'm ready for the next step. All right. So I'm going to be taking, this is my go-to brush when it comes to putting on shimmers. Um, a lot of people use their fingers only. I kind of go back and forth with both. I just feel like this, this brush helps when it comes to getting like right on that upper line and just being precise with it. So I'm going to be taking, it is a shimmer shade called Cuddle Close. It is the beautiful white shimmer in this top right corner. And I'm going to be going over the... Uh, concealer that I cut out. So I'm just going to dig into that shade a little bit, get it coated pretty well, and I'm going to place it on the lid. This is such a beautiful shade. Alright, so here's the shade on the lid. Um, it's not super, super reflective um, for shimmer. However, I still think it's pretty. It adds a really good pop of white to an eye look that you want to do. And I'm not really worried about the shimmer part because I'm going to be going over it with the glitter from the collection. So I'm going to do the same thing to the other eye with this shade and I'll be right back. Also, another note with this palette that I forgot to mention. Literally, there was not really a problem with fallout anywhere um the only reason it was down here is because i put it there on purpose um so that's just something i'm also really impressed with especially with a palette with such a dark shade like the cranberry red usually shades like that there's like a ton of fallout but i did not experience that with this palette which i love so i'm done with that step i have the white down and now i'm just going to take the original fluffy brush and take the shade fire this original transition shade get a little on my brush and just kind of put it on the edges of the white to blend it out a little better all right so i just blended that out a little better and now i'm going to add Glitter, my favorite part. So now I'm gonna be dipping in to the glitter, the gel glitter shade. Like I said, it's called Glitterly Obsessed and I'm literally just taking it on my pointer finger and getting some on it and putting it right on top of the white shade. And the thing I like about this is you don't need a glitter adhesive. So that's just um, an extra step that you don't have to do with this kind of formula so if you can see that it looks way better in person I promise on an iPhone camera it doesn't do it justice all right so for the lower lash line I just took the shade fire uh, the original transition shade and just kind of smoked out the lower lash line with that and yeah I don't think I'm gonna do liner with this look um, I'm just gonna pop on some mascara and for the lips, I think I'm going to be using the gloss. I haven't tried it yet. That is so pretty. Wow. I love it. Oh, I love a good glittery, glittery, oh my God. I can't talk. I love a good glittery, glittery, <laughs> a good glittery. I think I just created a new tongue twister. Good glittery gloss. 
The fact that that took me so long. Oh my god. What just happened to me? Comment down below if you just tried to say that and failed. Because I just failed so many times. And I'm not going to edit it out. Because we're not perfect people. Okay. I'm going to do lashes really quick and give my final thoughts. Disconnected so sometimes I feel frozen. That was unplanned. Oh my god. Alright, so this is the final look complete. I touched up my highlight because of the concealer. Um, put some mascara on. I have some final thoughts. So I just tried the gloss for the first time and I love it because my lips look like a cupcake right now. Okay? cupcake with sprinkles um I love it I love a good gloss I've definitely gotten into glosses lately more so than I used to be um so I recommend it completely um yeah as far as the palette goes I mean I just think it's without saying like I have literally no negative comments about this palette and for $15 especially if you're a fan of the franchise of the movies Frozen you're gonna love it. Like, if you love Elsa, come on, she's a queen, okay? Um, I think this is a really great, like, Christmas gift for your loved ones. It's definitely at a reasonable price point. $15 for this bad boy. Or if you want to go all out for them and get them the whole bundle, the whole little box, it's only $38. I don't know if I have any, like, negative comments about this. Like, I just loved it. Like, blended like a dream, no fallout. Yeah, what else is there to say? So, 100% recommend this. Go ColourPop, go Disney. Like, y'all did that. You did that. So, I hope y'all liked this video. I um, hope you liked my little tutorial on this winter glam. I think it's perfect for, like, a Christmas party. Um, it's not hard to do. It doesn't take that long. Um, but go ahead and hit that like button if you liked it and subscribe and maybe also, you know, hit that notification bell if you want to know when I'm around. But yeah, uh, it was so fun filming this and I hope y'all tune in to the next one. Bye.